Hey guys, so I watched a movie over the weekend called Bangalore Days. Now, this movie has been pretty heavily requested. I see it in the comments section all the time. I've heard so much about it and I basically know that this movie is so well liked and well adored um, for all sort of movie lovers in general. So I just wanted to come and talk to you guys about it because I had a lot to say <laughs> about this movie. Um, before I get into it though, I will say that if you are listening to this, um, whether you're new here or you're one of my old long-time listeners, um, do stick around to the end because I'm going to try and do something a little bit different in this review where I'm going to talk about it first, then after I'm going to do a bit of a reaction to maybe some of my favorite scenes, maybe my favorite scene in particular, um, depending, on how, depending on how we go with time. But let me get into it. There's a lot to like about this movie. I think this movie is a pretty cool movie and I want to talk about the positives before getting into some of the criticisms I have of this movie. Essentially, like, look, this movie, it explores a concept and a theme which I think is not explored in cinema in general all that much. And that's the theme of friendship. You know, we have movies about love and relationships and that's in this movie as well. But the general like bond and friendship that these three characters have, how much they care for each other. Um, I think this movie does a great job of exploring that side of things. Like it really lets us know, uh, you know, how close these three people are and how much they mean to each other. Um, getting through the tough times together as well as having the good times together as well. It's really, it's really the essence of friendship. I really, really appreciated this movie for showing us that. You know, it is a bit of a journey where these people are coming from. Obviously, they have big moments in their life where they're all together for. But there's also hard moments as well, which they are also almost leaning on each other for, um, you know, multiple times. Like, they they need that friendship to get through traumatic things in their life. Like, the story of... Uh, you know, um, one of the main characters uh, played by Naz Nazria Nazim Divya, like her whole story um, and how she has to sort of, you know, understand and learn about her husband played by Fahid Fasil, uh, one of my favorites, <laughs> um, Das, how, he has to, how she has to learn that, has to come through, you know, Dulkia's character. So, you know, I really appreciated the fact that this movie, you know, showed us the the complexities and the importance of friendship loved it absolutely loved it that's one of my favorite parts about this movie and it's probably what i like most about this movie to be honest um it's such a nice fascinating story to just explore i love seeing the relationship they had and obviously the actors had great chemistry between each other the differences in the personalities were so good to see um obviously on one end you have Dulkia playing the happy-go-lucky character which he seems to play um, quite a bit, but obviously one of the most charming actors I've seen. And you have Fahad on the other side, <laughs> playing essentially the polar opposite of him. Like just, you know, um, despicable. Like I didn't like to, I didn't like Fahad in this movie, his character at all. Like it was, um, I really didn't like him. <laughs> he was not a very likable character. But yeah, I, the other things I really liked about this movie is obviously um, I like the visuals in this movie and sort of how it sort of showed us the i guess the journey of people from kerala going to bangalore or another big metro city um it's really cool to see that and see the differences between the two worlds that they have to live in the changes they have to go through when going from a small town in kerala maybe to you know potentially a huge metro like bangalore it did a great job of showcasing bangalore which interesting fact i've actually been to bangalore um spent a bit of time there so i got to see sort of some of the uh you know so there were some familiar um hotel names um some of the shops looked very similar i saw hotel empire which i've been to um <laughs> so you know it was a really good tourist package i think like if there's anyone that's traveling from anywhere in the country to bangalore they should watch this movie because you get to sort of see the culture the lifestyle some of the you know, um, some of the places to go to and things like that without it being too touristy. Like, it gives you a real-life representation of what it might be like if you were to move from anywhere in India to Bangalore. So it's really nice to see that. I thought it was a different way of seeing things, you know. I've had, I've seen so many movies with, like, just such great visual feasts, you know. They've done things so well. But they've showed the side of Kerala off a lot. 
So this is a bit different where they're showing the metro side um, of Bangalore and showing the culture and obviously, you know, the IT hub and the lifestyle, how it's so different compared to uh, regional Kerala, maybe. So there are some of the parts I really liked and obviously this movie is so lighthearted. Um, it's a great mix of drama and comedy. Like it's the kind of comedy that I think you just sort of, it's really, it's very relatable. <laughs> you know, the kind of comedy, the kind of banter that the three characters have with each other. It's very familiar. Like it feels again, pretty real that people, I don't know, in their mid twenties, early thirties, it seems like these characters are the kind of humor that they might have, the kind of, um, you know, the pulling of each other's legs that they do. Uh, but you know, it's, uh, it was a really lighthearted movie. It's a kind of movie that I think honestly would work really well on TV. It's that kind of movie. And to think this movie came out in 2014, honestly, it's aged brilliantly. Like it doesn't feel like an old movie. I don't feel like it's aged that badly at all. Like everything is still relevant to today. Um, so it can really be used as a great reference point, as, as I said before. But yeah, it's a really cool... The reason why I said before that it would work really well on TV is because, look, essentially, you can put this movie on at any time during its running time, which is a long one, which might be one of my criticisms. But you can put it on at any time and you can watch it for however long you want and then move off. <laughs> you know, like you don't really necessarily have to watch the whole thing in one turn. You can watch, you know, from the start to the middle. You could watch the middle to the end. You can watch 20 minutes in between here and there to, fear, to see a few cool scenes. I can imagine this being extremely popular on TV. It's that kind of movie. So I did. There was a lot I to like about this movie. A movie, as I mentioned, um, I can understand why it's so loved and so adored um, as a classic piece. I'm sure there's some cultural re cultural relevance as well to this movie. An exploration like this is really fascinating. And if you are from Bangalore or if you have gone through this experience of moving from Kerala to uh, another city, you know, whether it's Bangalore or somewhere else. I would love to know if this movie is, you know, accurately representing your journey and what you had to go through um, during that phase as well. Because I find it fascinating that a movie like this comes out. It just feels so um, lighthearted, but at the same time, you know, seeped in realism um, in a very different way, you know. Uh, so really good. I did genuinely enjoy this movie a lot. I will quickly mention, before I get on to some criticisms, the actors obviously, you know, got to see Fahad play, you know, a, I guess you'd say he's sort of a side character in this movie. But, you know, his performance was pretty good in that I really disliked him <laughs> in this movie. Really interesting to see, to see the chemistry between himself and the main actress, Nazria, where they actually got married and met on set. That's fascinating. Um, obviously, the off-screen relationship was much better than the on-screen relationship <laughs> in this movie. But I thought that was pretty interesting. And on the other side, yeah, got to see Dulkia for a second time um, after seeing him in Charlie. And yeah, just one of the most charming uh, sort of actors that I've seen, really. There's definitely shades of his father <laughs> that I can see every now and then. Other than that, I got to see Parvati um, again and again in relationship with Dukia. So they have a good on-screen presence, looks like. New face for me, Niven Polly. Um, thought he had a pretty, really interesting character. Um, again, different sides of humor with him as well. So that was cool to see. So yeah, just the performances were really great to me. And I really enjoyed seeing all of them together. It was a cool, it was kind of like an ensemble cast in a way. Um, not so many actors like I've seen in movies like 2018 or Virus or something like that, which is just, you know, actor after actor after after actor. But in this one, there's still a few characters that have sort of lead kind of roles or have a lot of screen time. Onto some of the criticisms of this movie. Look, I did like this movie, but I will say this movie is a long movie. Like watching this for the first time and watching it, seeing the hour runtime being th almost three hours, kind of kind of shocked me. Because there's no, like, the plot, it's not like there's a real strong narrative in this. You know, the plot is basically, it's more like an exploration of people's lives rather than a really strong story. You know, we have the romantic stories of each of the characters and what they go through. You know, there's a lot tied in. We have the family dynamics with the mother coming into play and the father of Niven Poe's character coming into play as well. We have the, obviously, the whole history and the relationship turmoil that um 
Das and um, the, his wife is basically going through. So, yeah, there's, they do pack in a lot. His wife, sorry, Divya, are going through. They do pack in a lot into this movie, but they almost feel more like subplots. Like, they're all small stories. Like, uh, it's almost self-contained. They start and finish, and they don't have wider impacts throughout the entire movie all the time. You know, I guess the dirt bike racing is a story that's pretty thin but gets stretched out across three hours. Um, that's probably the most central one alongside um, Parvit, uh, alongside um, uh, Divya's and Das's relationship. They're probably the biggest two stories running in parallel. So it's a long run time. They do try and do a lot. So watching it one sitting, to be honest, is a bit of a challenge because there's just not a strong backbone to this movie, I think. Saying that, I think once you've watched it, you kind of understand what the movie's trying to do and how it's more of an exploration piece more slice of life kind of movie where you can sit back and appreciate what these people are going through in their lives. So I did, while I'm, while I, I'm critical of the time, I understand this kind of theme of movie, if you want to call it that. Uh, another one was, look, the predictability is pretty high in this movie. Like, I'm not going to lie. There wasn't too many surprises in this movie. Um, I would say like, there was obviously, you know, Fahad seemed like he had a, you know, a past that was, you know, scarred somewhat um and to see that play out was interesting but i kind of knew at the end of the day they were going to get back together through some means i appreciated that it was through the means of dulkia's character arjun who sort of helps him get back which i thought was nice look the end scene with the dirt bike racing um i actually really liked how the dirt bike racing was filmed as well by the way that was pretty cool i haven't seen that too much in movies but in terms of like just, you know, that end scene where he's on, finishes dirt, the dirt bike race after miraculously winning after crashing, um, <laughs> it was a bit fairy tale like And then, yeah, the end part where he's racing to see, um, you know, uh, Parvati's character, RJ Sarah, felt straight out of a 90s sitcom. Like, you know, that was as cliche as it could get. But look, that's what this movie kind of is. It's a feel-good movie. Um so yeah, look, there were some predictable storylines. I think like you could tell that, uh, you know, um, Divin Pauli's character, Krishnan, that first relationship was not a real one. There had to be some ups and downs. And, you know, I guess he's more of a comedy relief character than actually exploring his relationship after that fact. But whatever, like it's, it's, it's fine. It's not a major criticism. I just thought I would call it out that it was a bit predictable. A major criticism for this movie I would say is probably the fact that I found it hard to believe the level of, um, I guess the miscommunication or bad communication that all these characters had uh, to create all the drama in this movie. I really think if they had just sat down and had conversations, <laughs> a lot of it, a lot of, they could have probably saved a lot of drama in this movie. But then again, we wouldn't have this movie if that's the case. Like I felt like if Das had talked to um divya more openly about his past then things could have got you know they could have gone better instead of having a whole you know divorce thing and the you know a suspicion of affair and all this stuff like it was seemed a little bit far-fetched that he was so closed and ruining this poor girl's life who he he agreed to marry for some reason even though he was scarred i get it maybe he had some parental issues which didn't you know, some parental pressures, which is very common. I understand that side of things, but it wasn't explored in this movie all that well. And obviously, Dorkia's character with the whole hierarchy and, you know, um, him coming to terms of being with somebody that's disabled, interesting to explore, felt like it was a bit stretched. Maybe it's current times that that's something that I personally wouldn't see as, you know, something to not be with somebody with, especially a disability, like you can't walk, like it's... I know it's tough, but, you know, it It really was something I thought they could have got through a bit faster, to be honest. Um, and on the other side, the whole hierarchy and the class thing, like, is he good enough for my daughter? Um, that whole story could have been explored, I think, a little bit better. Um, and again, I wish that the conversation could have happened between the two instead of having the mother character talk to Dulkia and him never talking to her about it. It felt a bit strange. So that's probably my major criticism about this, but look, I can put it to the side. It wasn't too bad, and it did make for an entertaining movie, but 
the drama, I think, definitely could have been avoided in some cases. Uh, but look, before talking too much about this movie, I do want to pivot a little bit and do some reaction stuff. So let me actually stop right here and actually start doing a bit of a reaction to some of the scenes I really enjoyed from this movie. That music, man. Then the mango juice. Thank you. Ida Ju. Arjun. Kalyan Thiran door me under. Kalyan Thiran door. Ella door me. Hey. Ida good day. Hello. Hi. Gundu da wana nita. Porthen dalle vakshna. Ada. Ni cookie do. Hmm. Nalla naade shapad. Ah. Na nai. വീട്ടിന്ന് ഭക്ഷണം കഴിച്ചിട്ട് എത്ര നാളായി നീ എപ്പോ കുക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പഠിച്ച ഇന്നത്തെ സ്പെഷ്യൽ മെനു മാങ്ങാ പുൽശ്ശേരി ക്യാബേജ് തോരൻ പിന്നെ ചെമ്മീൻ മേമ വെക്കുന്ന അതേപോലെ ഇതാണ് കിച്ചൻ കുടിക്കാൻ വേണം ആയിക്കോട്ടെ ദാസേട്ടാ സോഫ്റ്റ് ഡ്രിങ്ക്സ് മതി കേട്ടോ അവൻ എന്താ വിളിച്ചത് ദാസേട്ടന്ന് നീയോ അങ്ങനെയാണ് വിളിക്കുന്നത് ഞാൻ അങ്ങനെയല്ല വിളിക്കാം പക്ഷെ നീ വിളിക്കണം കേട്ടോ ഞാൻ വിളിച്ചത് തന്നെ ആ ഇതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇഷ്ടം സ്റ്റോക്ക് മാർക്കറ്റ് ക്രാഷ് ആയപ്പോ ശരിക്കും പേടിച്ചു പോയി പിന്നെ മ്യൂച്വൽ ഫണ്ട്സ് ഒക്കെ വിട്ട് ഇൻഷുറൻസിലേക്ക് മാറി റിസ്ക് എടുക്കണ്ടല്ലോ എന്ത് റേറ്റ്സിനാ കിട്ടുന്നത് അപ്പോ <laughs> 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 ണി <laughs> 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 അപ്പൊ കുടുംബചരിത്രമൊന്നും അറിയില്ലേ എന്താ കുഞ്ചു നീ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടില്ലോ അവരെവിടെ ഉണ്ട് ഇപ്പം Is there a problem? What problem? He's in the Kernel. He's in the China bottle. He's in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. You don't sound like you approve of it. Who am I to approve? He's in the house. 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 really is because like <laughs> you get to see so much of what this movie is about right in that scene right there um the light heartedness comedy at the start it's a, it's so good and i even forgot to mention when i was talking about the review uh so i'm happy i did i sort of did this like the music in this movie is fantastic like i i forgot that part this music the music is amazing that main like bgm tune that they play is so good and i know it's part of the song that's part that comes on earlier i really like that song it's a great um 
sort of number and even some of the other songs that were there it's pretty it's a great musical it's a, it's, a, it's a great musical this movie um, it's actually really good uh, yes I forgot to mention that at all but man you got to see like how much um, like relatable comedy there is in this movie right like when three friends get together after a long time with one sort of uh, new somebody who's out who's an outsider you get this dynamic of where one person doesn't fit in and in this case you sort of see the exploration of all the different relationships like you know obviously Krishnan um Niven Pauli got along a bit better with uh, Das, and you saw Arjun, Dukia, and Fahad basically be polar opposites on complete different sides of the spectrum. Uh, so you got to really see that really good, um, you know. And yeah, as soon as you know that sort of lightheartedness comedy that was hilarious, you know, some banter there. Love the banter. Banter was awesome, and there's a lot of great banter in this movie. Um, but essentially after you get through that you know we get the sort of darkness that's when the drama comes in and comes in strong it feels like sometimes Um, so yeah it really shifts tone like that really quickly like I think it does a really good job of controlling tone and um, yeah I thought it was just a fantastic scene Uh, it's really well done I think Uh, some sort of cultural elements as well with the mango um, juice versus the apple juice. I remember apple fizz, very tasty drink. Um, and some of the chutneys and some of the home food. Yeah, it's all stuff that's extremely extremely relatable for, you know, people who are just getting married, people who are about to get married, uh, people who are living together. So relatable to all these kind of concepts. Um, home cooking after a long time. Uh, you know, talking about business <laughs> as you grow older, kind of the adulting stuff, which is why I was laughing at that scene. Um, it seemed like that was there for that purpose. And also just to show how Dulkia and um, Fahad have absolutely nothing in common until later on, which you find out they actually have a lot in common. Um, so pretty fascinating. I think I'll leave it at that before making this review too long. But look, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me some feedback. Let me know what you thought about this new style. Um, that I'm trying to do here, trying to keep something a little bit more fresh. You know, I'm always trying to do something different on this channel. Always appreciate all the support you guys give me. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this movie. If you're new here, I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button. Um, And yeah, look guys, we'll be talking to you pretty soon. So thanks again.